What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome into the Sick Podcast. Steelers, crazy over here. My name is Mike Nicastro. Find me on Twitter at Mike Up Sports One. That is none other than our guy Jordan York, J York Football. Jordan, what is cracking? How you feeling? Hey, I'm I'm making it through the week. That's all that matters. I live to see another day. Um, but can't can't complain. Steeler off season has been great so far. We have a great guest today. Uh, just really exciting stuff. And you see it on the shirt right there. It's where the bar is set. Steel City Wheelhouse. Tires for all cars and trucks can now be purchased online at steelcitywheelhouse.com. And best of all, financing is available. Make sure you go down and see our guys, John and John, down there. They're taking care of business every day. A great business. Steel City Wheelhouse. It's where the bar is set. Rumor is we got a Super Bowl champion on today. The rumors are true. The rumors are true? The rumors are true. Well, we appreciate everybody tuning in live at Sick Pod Steelers on Twitter. We're going to be doing this a lot more. I know for a long time we specifically were just uploading to YouTube, but we want to bring you guys the interviews right to your X feed. I keep, I mean, I'm always going to call it Twitter. Take that, Elon Musk. Um, and, you know, allow you to kind of feel like you're interacting with the athlete, the analyst, or just us, which nobody wants to do in the first place. Uh, whenever we are live on your computer screen or iPhone screens. So let's do just that, man. Let's bring in a uh, former Pittsburgh Steeler. This guy would always run the rock hard. He's a Georgia Bulldog as well. We're excited to catch up with him a little bit today. It's none other than former Steelers running back, Veron Haynes. What's going on, man? What's crackalacking, my fellas? Hey. <laughs> man, How you, you guys like doing, you're... Mike? Jay, hey, I appreciate you guys having me on, man. Good day to you guys. You look like you go out there and play right now. Yeah. Are you bodybuilding? <laughs> hey, something? listen, listen. I'm playing, but it's a different kind of sport. It's golf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's that going? It's going. It's going. You, hey, listen. The one thing about golf, you, you never hit the same shot. I don't care how long you've been playing. You have never hit the same shot twice, right? So it's so always an adventure every day. Yes. And I just played with uh, none two other than our 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 legend, number thirty six, the great. Nah, the bus. You play with the bus. bus. All How the time. All the time. Guess what? I'm in his pocket today. <laughs> oh, you took his money. You took his money. Yeah, he he, he got he got enough of it. He. Uh... <laughs> but no, the 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 trick is to catch him early in the season. Uh -huh. right? Yeah. Because once he gets going. He gets on a roll and he starts finding his He rhythm. starts finding the rhythm, yeah. Yeah, but he's been traveling, so. <laughs> <laughs> that Come sounds in. like how he was in the NFL, too. Get him, yeah. get him early, right. I guess. That's get right. him early. That's right. So you kind of talked about what you're up to, you know, you're golfing these days with the bus. Um, just what are you? what has life after football been like for you? Life after football. So I went straight into commentating for ESPN International, being that I was a Trinidadian. Of, uh, so we went to every single country outside the U.S., right? Traveled there, and I did stuff like golf, tennis. Uh, man, you do you guys know cricket? Uh, yeah, you know okay. cricket? Never played it. <laughs> I never played it, but watched it, watched it before. Right. Cricket, so, so we did cricket, soccer, all those kind of sports that you would see on ESPN, <laughs> Deportes, and and, mm -hmm. and, and, and and that's the stuff that we covered. So – when that was through, I went right into just being a dad, man. Like my wife was a lot smarter than I am, right? I married up. So mm -hmm. she bought a bunch of property when the real estate market crashed. And we have those uh, real estate investments, but we also do French Bulldog Breeding Company. And yeah, that's I've seen where that I on get, your Instagram. Yeah, that's where I get my fulfillment from, right? That's my sweat equity stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm heavy into that, but. Golf is my true new passion. And now we're empty nesters, right? So we are visiting the kids and, you know, just living, just living our lives, man. Moved to New York half the time, and sometimes I'm down here in the South where I am now. You ever been back to Pittsburgh? Yes, 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 yes. Actually, I am going to be doing a camp in Pittsburgh. Okay. Willie Parker called me a couple uh, weeks yeah. ago. Yep. So we're going to get together and do a football camp. I'm not familiar yeah, let me with all let the us details. Know when that is. I will. I will. I will. Definitely. 
Yeah. So you talked about your golfing with Jerome Bettis, the Bulldogs, you know, life after football, getting married, all great stuff. What teammates do you guys still have like a Super Bowl group chat? Like, do you what teammates are you still close with? I mean, I know so you the brotherhood forever, but. Right. Interestingly enough, we have a monthly check in with the current and former guys. No, I'm, wow. I kid you not. KC has done an amazing job. Kevin Kohlberg on his way out, he wanted to form this alliance and this group that can kind of communicate with current and former guys so that yeah. we could kind of go through the situation if you're if you're needing anything from financial literacy to tickets, anything in between. Mm -hmm. You could communicate with the group Usually no question is a dumb question, right? Because yeah. somebody else has that question. We would communicate with, uh, we, 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 it's like a brotherhood, right? They have this kind of talk host that would, the, the, the month, whatever the topic of the month is, we'll start mm -hmm. off with that. Then Casey will exit and just let us have the, sh have the floor so that we could like fellowship as long as we want and then end it. Next month, do the same thing over again. But to answer your question, the group that we do play with is a bunch of former uh, NFL guys that still lives here in Atlanta. Uh, Victor Green, um, he's a Jets. He's not a he's not a Steeler, right? But nonetheless, we 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 don't we we don't care where that money's coming from as long as he puts into the pot. His money's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cordell plays still. Um, he's part of the group. It's a who else? Who else plays? Joey. I see I see Joey out there. Once a year, Jerome does his um his charity event, mm -hmm. right? Usually it's at East Lake. East Lake is closed for repair this year. So we're going to New Jersey. It's going to be fabulous next month. And I'm excited to because that's where I get to see a bunch of our old teammates. That's great. That, that is, just kind of speaks so to what the Steelers are. Yeah. 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 That is so bad. Go I ahead. just picture you guys like playing fantasy football together and <laughs> like, <laughs> like being like, hey, let's online blackjack. Man, listen, right it is straight competitive. You know that. Like, sure. yeah. and 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 Peasy, his mouth doesn't stop. You, know, <laughs> you absolutely knew how he played the game. Yeah, that's that's no secret. What do you think I mean, of this kid, true. Joey Porter Jr.? Love that pick, man. I it, Indeed, love that pick, man. It's so good to see and refreshing to see that they brought uh, some 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 hometown love cooking back in there, and and somebody who understands the way of the mole of the old Steelers. Right, he grew up watching his dad play. He grew up watching that old defense, how physical and dominant they were, and he's a part of that. So they extended that love, and I think he kind of now has embraced that, and he fits the mold to a T. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's elite. I love, I, I love, I love that. I was a still, still the draft at that big time. Still, absolutely, big time. absolutely. We're hanging out with Veron Haynes here on the Sick Podcast. Steelers crazy. Thank you so much for joining us, man. I want to take you back, of course, two thousand six, two thousand seven. Talk a little bit about that year. You got a ring, of course. Say, you might as well. You might as well hold it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good point. <laughs> yeah, I brought. I, I told you, I brought. I brought it just in case, right? <laughs> oh, wow. I'm, I'm blinded, blinded now. That thing is we got, blinded we got me. That, thing right Ooh, there. that is. That is. That I is. Like Sixberg, what's going on, Sixberg? Don't put that on the line when you play uh, Cordell and golf. Right? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that's, that's you know quite as kept. That is a kind of. <laughs> We would be traveling to Jerome's tournament, and a bunch of the guys got rings and stuff. And Stu's back there. I kind of my heart goes out to Stu, man, because he gave it all for us, right? Yeah. It just was a different time. His his time had 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 kind of passed on, and 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 you know, thank God that we we got the mold that we did because we was able to capture that fifth and now a sixth, and 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 on our way to the seventh. Nice, nice. On our way to the seventh. I love what we're doing, man. Good segue, Mike. Hey, it's a good segue. Well, listen, if, if say, I'm always curious about this, right? Say Veron Haynes goes to the bar or you're in the airport or something or mm -hmm. restaurant and somebody doesn't know you and, you know, they find out you played for the Pittsburgh Steelers and won a Super Bowl and their reaction is like, holy shit, 
and they say, hey, man, what was that like? What, what is like the first few things that would come to mind that you would tell them? It was surreal, man. Honestly, mm -hmm. being a part of that team, that culture back then, Troy, you got Troy Palomalu as opposite, right? That's doing his Tasmanian devil take off after the ball right as soon as that whistles uh that 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 quarterback hikes says hike um you have guys like jeff uh uh you have guys uh, you, got, you guys uh red bleeding from the think, bleeding yeah. bleeding yeah. all i could see is is alan fanica his head is wrapped up and his <laughs> bleeding blood coming out and he's just like what let's go <laughs> right um you got uh, Marvell. Oh, I mean, just some legends yeah. that 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 really embrace that old Steeler tradition of tough SOBs, right? Mm -hmm. um, being a part of that was sensational, man. It was a brotherhood like beyond. And 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 the thing that a lot of people don't know is we were even closer off the field than we were on the field, right? Which is hard to do. It's really, but that's the part that pays dividends, especially later on in the season. Yeah, absolutely. What were you guys? What would you guys do? Hang out in Southside a little bowling. bit. Be careful with that. Bowling. We went bowling. We were everything was a competition, right? That's so correct. we had poker night. We had bowling night. We had movies. Uh, I, 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 obviously, after we went out, got a few uh, librations, <laughs> a little drinks, right? <laughs> but we, we, we. It was a it was more of a family than 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 a teammate. Yeah, Those for guys. sure. It's draft season, and I love talking draft on this show. We have some prospects on every once in a while. You're a late round pick. I see the Georgia football right behind you from uh, from Georgia. Talk to me about the draft process. I feel like it's changed so much. Um, but back then, if you take yourself back, you know, were you interviewing with teams? Did you know the Steelers had interest in you? So oddly enough, no. Right. Really, I didn't know. And and get this, and I was just with the guy that the Steelers came to see on my pro day. He, they came down there to see Jasper Sanks. He was he was he was Jasper was a a hell of a running back that Georgia had picked up. He's in the ninety seven class with me. He went to a Hardgrave Military for a year, mm -hmm. got his grades right, and came back right. So we took Jasper. And this is, I mean, you got to think, this is Jamal Lewis class too, right? We took him over Jamal. Right. So the, both of them were like one and two in the, in our in our uh, class. But we, we ended up selecting Jasper, and he was the real deal. It just didn't <laughs> pan out for Jasper as far as injuries and stuff like that that just kept on happening. So the Steelers came down to see Jasper, and I stole the show that day. It just so happened I had a great workout. Right. And and Dick Hope told me that when I got to the Steelers, he asked me to stay late one day. He was like, first of all, it was stay late because of Jerome. Right. <laughs> Jerome will be sleeping in the back there. Right. And then he'll get he'll snore, get snore his ass up. Right. Wake himself up snoring and be like, oh, Veron, you need to um, on this play. You need to go. So Coach Hope wouldn't tell. Jerome this directly, right? So he would tell whoever Jerome's mentoring or coaching stay after, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but he would always say stay after. And he was like, what the, did Jerome tell you? He's like, F that. You got here off of your abilities, right? You run the way you run. Jerome runs the way he runs. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I'm like, Coach, what do you mean? This is a guy who's been like 14 years in the league. Oh, fame. Do it, right? <laughs> so long story short, then he proceeds, he proceeds to tell me, you know how I how you got here anyway, right? I didn't even come to see you. I came down there to see Jasper Sanks. So for, forget everybody listening to everybody. You got here on your own. Yeah, so you had a chip on your shoulder, I'm sure. Right. Like you probably right. felt like you had to work harder than a lot of guys because you were a Absolutely. Thing, I would imagine. Absolutely. Well, honestly, I still think to this day, uh, I might be a little bit uh, 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 biased to biased. this, but guess what? 
I still think that 2002 class is pretty damn good. Like we shaped up to be pretty damn good. You got uh, our first. Um, um, uh, I'll jump on that. No worries. Uh, no, no, no. My Auburn guy. Sorry, my uh, one too many hits. Uh, Kendall. Kendall. Oh, Kendall, Kendall Simmons. Simmons. Kendall. Yeah. Kendall Simmons. Yep. Then you have Randall L. Ooh. Yeah. This class. Chris is Hope. Insane. Chris Hope. Yep. Yeah. Larry. Wow. Foot. Holy. Veron Haynes, Lee Mays, the beard. Wait till you get the seventh round. Unbelievable. The beard, like, yeah. like Keith the Deese. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, and, and, and all those guys, man, kudos to you. We just made a pact that we were just, you know, going to be the mold. Going to yeah. be the mold. What embodied what the Steelers were all about at the time, which was a, test, a tough SOB. That's a ridiculously good draft class. Yeah. Oh I my think so. God. Did I'm you know who Kendall guys. Simmons was? You guys were playing Auburn at that time. We were playing against each other, but yeah, I but not I on the no same idea. side of the ball, obviously. No, no, no clearly not. Different side but of the ball. We all are still close, right? I had a 40th birthday party and most of those guys showed up. My wife threw me a, a 40th surprise birthday party, and most of those guys were there. That's so cool. Yeah. That's great. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about some of your other former teammates. Uh, Big Ben, just mm. kind of talk my about roommate. your relationship. Yeah, yeah, he was my room dog. That's my room dog, man. For five years, Big Ben and I. So on the road, right? You have a when you're a young guy, you have to room with somebody. As you mm. get to be a veteran, you could got to get your single, your yeah. room. So what? So we were young together. So we had to room together. But when we became veterans, we just got rooms adjacent to each other, opened the door and then closed them at nighttime. So we was always room dogs. That's my roommate, man. And I, um, Ben trained with me uh, when he got drafted. He, him and I knew the same people. We had the same agent. So he came down to Atlanta, worked out with me, stayed with me. And to this day, he's still like A1. I mean, he he has a house down here in Georgia. When he comes, he calls yeah. me to go play some golf, and we, we'll hit some balls. That's who's awesome. who's better, him or him or Jerome? You're not gonna get me caught up with that. <laughs> You're not gonna get me caught up with that because I thought you were all, gonna say yourself. All, first of all, first of all, I want to whoop both of their asses. So, <laughs> ain't not, ain't, for, ain't, 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 it just depends on the day. I would say <laughs> because what was he like as a roommate? Being serious. I'm what was he like serious. as a roommate? Was he, was he dirty? Did he make his bed? Did he leave a toothbrush out? He, <laughs> come on, he was young. That was young that was ben. ben. Yeah, that was young Ben. All I all I knew was uh Ben was it would be interesting. Every hotel <laughs> that we went into, there would be about eight items, right? Waiting for Ben and Jack Kearney, who is our uh, our FBI cop, right? That would he would bring up eight eight things and just leave them for Ben to sign. And now for those eight items, he would leave a check. And let me tell you, that check, I said, God damn, Ben, shit, <laughs> just for eight, like, <laughs> like eight items. That's it every week, though. Every wow. week, and that that that. Let me very lucrative. Those eight items, right? So, but. Uh, I started, I was like, started plotting. I was like, so now how do you do this, this, this? And he would always help me out. And, and our agent at the time made sure that we were coincide. So if you wanted to sign Ben, guess what? You got to have to tag along that dog right there. That, 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 uh, that person that you might not know about that, that wears 34, but don't, don't worry. He's he's he he plays hard. <laughs> oh, come on. So I was the tag along friend credit. and I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Every hey, minute. Just so it. you know, I, I before Mike came on, we were talking off air. Like you were people asked me, you were a fan, they wanted to hear from you. So th this is for Steeler Nation, and I know that they're Thank happy you, to hear man. from you. Thank we're you. gonna send right. you eight Please. things. I'm gonna send you eight things, and then we're gonna sign them and give them to Steeler Nation. Just to, man, yeah. listen. I, Listen, they might, they might, they might, they might, they might have a little uh, fake Ben signature on there too. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of buddy that his Check. ass was getting. Yeah. Shit. Uh, uh, no, man. I used to love it, man. Uh, I mean, my thing that I was always known for, everybody would always ask me, do you actually warm up, right? 
because I would dance the whole time. Right. I, I went remember, to everybody. Yeah. I knew what everybody's kind of song, whether you was from the West Coast, the East Coast, the Midwest. I knew what kind of music you liked. And I would like, you know, totally rock out with with yeah. a few guys and then, you know, be hood with some. I, I just knew <laughs> what everybody liked. And I get there, had to look them in the eye, make sure they were ready. All right. All 53. Let's go. Let's ride. But the whole time I'm just dancing. Right. And uh, well, what they didn't know is three hours before the game, I was actually there warming up. So I was good and warm. You did like four warm ups. They, just, did, they just they just didn't witness it. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Before I throw it back over to Mike, one other teammate, James Harrison. Talk a little <laughs> bit about him. That was part. And, and I, and you know, he was part of our class, too. Yeah. You know, he I, uh, I keep forgetting point. that because he gets, he, he, you know, James had a tough road, He, but, which made him the player, which he he, he ultimately became. He got yeah. cut, but yeah. he stuck around, stuck with it throughout the years and kept on coming back. And I don't know what, which, which time or what year did he finally stick, but he was, he, he was a part of the 97 class. So a big funny story for James. James Harrison, right? He comes down to Atlanta to work out with the group CSI, uh, CSE, um, that we're working out with. A bunch of uh, guys are training for the combine. First day, and <laughs> we're in the gym, and we're doing upper body, I believe. And he was a machine then, as you could think about it, but he wasn't in shape at all. Really? So what do you mean? He's puking everywhere, right? We haven't even got to the run yet. I was like, God damn, boy, what have you done? Who'd you play for? He's like, Kent State. He's like, when did y'all <laughs> when did y'all when did y'all uh end? Like October. Come on, James. <laughs> no bowl game. <laughs> Come on, Jay. October. God damn. All right. He's like more like December, right? Early December. But I was like, what have you done since? Nothing. <laughs> it showed it showed <laughs> nothing he wow. he had sat around and did nothing but uh uh, uh blurpees for the whole time and no and, wonder and, it took him some time to latch on mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's the that's my introduction to james silverback harrison that is incredible. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't think he'd be a good golfer. I'm trying to think of those pipes he's got and trying to trying to yield. Him. I, there's no way. Right. I was at a Steelers me? event uh, with him recently. Me? He can play pool. He's a beast of a golfer. No, oh, absolutely I not. I, I agree say, with His you. I agree say he, he would yeah. he would totally eat that ball. Oh yeah, like, he would miss it. He got probably he got a Charles yeah. Barkley type. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? you can't get those arms yeah. all back. He's probably you really get stuck. <laughs> Charles Barkley. I gotta throw one more at you. Heinz Ward. Heinz, great teammate. Great yeah. teammate, man. Helped me with uh, a lot, especially early on in my career. So <laughs> we're playing in a preseason game, and there's a you know, we always played Philly, and at the time they had a guy named Jeremiah, maybe Trotter, you know, something going across the middle. I kind of gator armed it, right? <laughs> He's like, he comes up to me with his typical Heinz, Heinz Ward smile. He said, You scared, weren't you? Like, I was like, No. He's like, You scared, bitch. You scared, bitch. He said, He said, Did you, uh, yeah, you thought you was going to get hit? I was like, Yes. He's like, Did you get hit? I was like, Yes. He's like, well, catch the damn ball then, because you're gonna get hit regardless. And 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 it and and it clicked because you're still gonna True. get hit regardless. So I never missed the ball after that. Never. So but, that's incredible. That's yeah, Georgia on Georgia crime. That's yeah. right. Hines Hines made sure he took care of the Georgia guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, we can't get you out of here without asking. Uh obviously mm -hmm. you're an ATL guy, but you're a Steelers fan, I'm assuming. Yep. Yep. Um to a large through degree. And through. through and through. Russell Wilson, this team. What are, What are your thoughts right now, man? I'm loving it. I'm yeah. loving it. Why? How How could you not? Right? I see it as the 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 typical situation that we had with Ben and Tommy. We had just redid Tommy's contract. Mm -hmm. Tommy wasn't coming in. I mean, Ben. We didn't draft Ben to play that year, right? Mm -hmm. We was just preparing him, and totally how to totally to be a pro 
and how to approach day-to-day operations. Now, situations went down, second game of the season, playing Baltimore, and lo and behold, Ben Roethlisberger arrives. But how could you not want what we have in a 14-year guy, right, who's played 14 years that could mentor and teach Justin how to be a, a, a total pro? There's something to be – it's not coincidence. It's not accidental that he plays 13, 14 years. So be a sponge and absorb all that information so when you are past the torch, you are running. And it's your job after to pass it on to the next man. Speaking That's of my ATL, two guys, cents. Justin, how long – you've had it probably be following Justin's career for a while. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely, this kid was, this kid was he's a, a great, beast. he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. What's he's going phenomenal. wrong? With him? What's been the situation in Atlanta? Nothing. He's I mean, he's Chicago. Fine. I'm sorry. He's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm. 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 He's fine, and he's going to be fine. I mm-hmm. think it's 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 situations where you're going to see them both play. Maybe I sure. would slash I your boy Cordell, would, right? just like that. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, he's the future, right? With with I and and it's a great pick. I think. The coach that we have in MT, he's going to mold him exactly the way that and prune him the way that you're supposed to mature him, not give him too much too fast. Mm -hmm. And if he is where you all think he is and ready for it, give it to him. But you have a guy in Russell that is going to be a that is a proven vet that could mold him just right. And I would tell Justin just to absorb all the information and knowledge, not so much on the field, right? That too, but all the nuances that come with being a pro. Yeah. A pro. How do you approach this game? How do I capitalize and play 14, 15 years down the line? Well, you're an absolute pro and now you're a pro golfer. And a pro, <laughs> pro okay player, badminton, whatever the hell you want to throw. Out there. I wish you're a good person to to learn thank from you. and to talk to today. Yeah, man. it's been awesome. Man, thank you guys, man, for having me on. I enjoyed it, man. And, yeah. and go Steelers, man. Go Steelers. I'm excited about the season. Yeah, we'll have to have you. Who you think? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Before I let you yeah. guys go, mm-hmm. right? Before y'all let me go. Um, what does the draft look like? Who do you guys want? What What, what are you hearing? O line, man. It's yeah. that you need to keep rebuilding. Yeah. If you know anything you, with you guys like game Fanica, up front, you have Fanica, Simmons, you know, Harding's maybe on that team around mm-hmm. around that. Yeah. Steelers yeah. need a center desperately. Yeah. Uh, they literally don't have one. And then, you know, they could upgrade a tackle too. But, you know, something interesting, Veron, is that uh, last year, Russell Wilson and Justin Fields held the ball longer than any quarterbacks in the NFL. Those two were the slowest release times, so you better protect them. Wow. And uh, so that, that's that got to be priority one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I agree. Because Ben held the ball, but it was different kind of holding, right? It was buying time for guys yeah. to get down the field and stuff like that. I'm assuming they their release is just a little bit slower. Or, yeah, or I mean, how what what is what is what is the deal? I, with I just that think now? I think my my theory is that quarterbacks now are just so trained to just get it out immediately. Like you like Ben his last year. Yeah. Boom. Like 0.7 seconds. 0.7 seconds. Right. Um I think it was just probably a different game even a decade ago, you know. True. I think I just think and Russ and Fields play like Ben, at least Russ, you know, you'll see him run to the left, run to the right, spin move, fire deep ball, kind of like Ben did, you know, for a right. long time. But like some of the best quarterbacks just don't I mean Mahomes does, but you have guys like just that just immediately Take the ball and fire it around. So right. I don't know. I just think it's a different, different ball game. I don't know about how you, how 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 refreshing would it be if uh, not only does he get like Russell, but Big B comes by and you know pours into the pours mm-hmm. into him a little bit too, right? That would be awesome. I would love seeing that. That I'm would sure will happen. I'm I'm sure too because their games, like you said, are similar, right? They try to hold mm-hmm. on to the ball just like he did. They they're not 260 plus like Big B, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but nonetheless, you know, they they there 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 are some similarities there. So, you know, the what I would advise too is you, you, you got to know when and who you're playing. I, I I wouldn't do that too much against Baltimore. You know, with those guys uh-huh. coming, you <laughs> fired at your ass like that. I would I'll try to get that shit out of my hand. It's just two teams that just don't like each other. And they will learn very quickly when that game starts. Yeah. The bloodbath that goes on. Yeah. There you have it. Yep. Well, hey, we really appreciate you coming on. Like we said, we'll have to do it again. And uh, just tell everyone where they can find you. Are, are you doing any commentating or are you just uh, nope. Bo- nope. golf? Just golf, man. Course. You can find me on the golf course, which uh, coming 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 at you live from <laughs> from 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 Fenway Park or wherever, like wherever you you, are. you play Augusta. They let you on no, that course. No, they don't I, let anybody on that course. No, no. All right, I'm not gonna tell you what team said it. Right, so we're going through. My son is pretty good in football. He's okay, right? He's re- he's at Alabama right now, but. Somebody was recruiting, and that was one of their sales pitch. If your son comes here, I'm going to get you on Augusta because everybody knows that I play golf every day, right? Yeah. So one of the one of the teams is like, that's part of the package. Needless to say, he didn't go. So still haven't yeah, played yeah. Augusta. Man. Damn it! <laughs> There's no I way that was George. right there. No way that was George. I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. It's I'm a just, bunch of teams that recruited Justice. So I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. He's, at, he's at Bama. <laughs> he's he's a boss. Take no pick. way that was uh oh God. Take, but, take your pick. Take your pick. But that great. was a pick. Man. That I is was, hey, listen. I didn't tell <laughs> Justice that because I wanted it to be his 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 choice and his decision where he decided to go, but you know, he's going to have to get yeah. me on there one day, too. No, so no doubt in my mind. Probably hold his Tech. ass today. Either way, you're a proud dad. Georgia That's Tech, no matters. doubt in my mind. Georgia hey. Tech. Yep, there it hey, is. Hey, Veron. <laughs> Landed on it. Landed Thank on you it. again. Oh. It's been Thanks, a pleasure. Ron. Thank you, brothers. Take hey, care. enjoy the rest Steelers. of your evening. Yes, sir. Here we go, Steelers. Go Bulldogs. Go Steelers. Peace, brother. Man, it was fun. Um, he doesn't have any personality, does he? Boring guy. Uh, those stories, man, just uh, they never get old. It's just it's just the Steelers, those glory days. And like you said, I think everyone, especially when we talk to former players, I think the trajectory's you know, changing right now. And, you know, Omar Khan is really we just got to wait and see. I mean, on paper, it looks great uh, for the price that we got the quarterback. I, I, I think that it's a perfect. Like he said, be a sponge. Justin Fields, yeah, couple couple years. You know, he could get playing time this year. He could be the next slash. You don't know. Guess People we talk about find out. the franchise and the culture around it, right? Steelers Nation and how it's different than other franchises historically. Part of that is what he said in terms of them having a group chat started by Kevin Colbert. He literally said they can ask any question. Part of that is the fact that. Somebody's throwing a surprise birthday for him. I think his wife, 40th birthday. And you got a bunch of Steelers showing up, right? That is what separates, I think, the Steelers organization from a lot of other franchises in this league because you just don't know if that's happening. He he literally rattled off the 2002 Pittsburgh Steelers draft class. Rattled it off, off the top of his head. And, um, I mean, that's it's just different, man. It's a different franchise. Obviously, we're biased anyway. We're going to sit here and say that. But, come on, you think the uh, – Arizona Cardinals got that. You think the uh, you think the Falcons are, are reuniting on a golf course, the 40th birthdays all the time, the Falcons of the 2000s? Probably not, but um, it was cool. Definitely cool. Yeah, and we appreciate you guys uh, hanging with us live. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, The Sick Podcast, Steeler Crazy. Shout out to Steel City Wheelhouse. There you see it, TJ Watt. He's going to come after you if you don't subscribe, so do yeah, the will. right thing. Thank yeah, you, guys. It's been another great episode. Uh, It will be up on our YouTube and all major uh, platforms. So go give it a listen. Thanks for hanging out. Jay York Football, Mic'd Up Sports 1. Until next time. And that's a wrap. Hope you don't miss us too much until next time. Follow the sick podcast, Steelers Crazy, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Google Play, and Apple Podcasts.